guys what's up it's Mike Martin welcome to my studio uh, today we are demoing the Fuchs audio technology Mantis Jr. and I've had my eye on this amp for some time uh, I know the guys at Fuchs and have known them for uh, for several years now and have had the pleasure of recording with several of their amps on different projects here in Atlanta um, and when I heard about this little beast I got very excited about this guy because I was very familiar with the Mantis architecture for a lot of the hard rock stuff that I've done some tracking with um, and this little guy is uh, not just a little guy. I think Deb calls him uh, Mantis's snotty little little brother with an attitude problem. Um, I think that's uh, that's pretty pretty good description. Um, so anyway, what we're dealing with here, it, the Mantis Junior, it comes kind of on the the smaller casino architecture that that whole smaller amp series that Fuchs has started doing. Um, and with this, uh, it comes in a 50 or 100 watt, or you can run it with uh, 6L6s or EL34s. It's a two-channel amplifier. You've got a clean channel and a dirty channel, um, and with the foot switch that comes with it, um, there is a, uh, an internally adjustable boost for each channel um, so that you can set that for however you want it. So you could almost use this sort of like a four-channel amplifier if, if, if you so desired, but basically it's two channels um, with a shared three-band EQ as well as a presence and a thrust control um, presence kind of attenuates the top end character of the uh, the output of the amplifier and the thrust kind of works more on the low end more like a resonance sort of control to help you uh, push or sort of shape up the the bottom end of the amplifier um, so anyway let's get into it a little bit that first little bit you heard me playing was on the uh, the channel 2 the gainy channel um, but uh, both channels actually have quite a bit of gain on tap. They are voiced very differently. But let's uh, let's check them out a little bit. Here is channel one. Real sensitive to your volume control. a very nice percussive quality to it if you, if you like to play a lot of rhythm guitar then... that feels really good to do that um, and that's just pretty much here's the low gain uh, pre-gain side of that channel um, all the way up so it'll get cleaner than that to where it won't hardly break up at all even if you're digging in pretty hard. Um, but I like my, my clean channels on these types of amps to be real dynamic to my picking. So if I want it to be clean, it's how I pick. And if I want it to bark at me, and that's barely, barely barking. You can push it a little further from there. Between single coils and humbuckers. And even get a little aggressive with it. It'll it'll start working at you. And then all the way up. Certainly not a metal tone, but it's a warm browner kind of a sound. Uh, so let's go back to the halfway mark, and uh, then we'll get into the boost. And now it definitely gets a hairier brown kind of sound. And 
Uh, it's hard to believe that's the clean channel. So. Very, very musical and very helpful. All right, for the dirty channel, tell you what, let's switch over to something a little bit more traditional sounding than, well, before I do that, let's, we'll stay right here and go to the dirty channel so you can hear it with humbuckers and then we'll switch over to something with single coils. So that's the dirty channel and notice I've got the gain a bit further back on here. It doesn't clean up, it will clean up with your volume knob. But there's a lot of gain on the second. Maybe one of the gainiest amps I think that that Fuchs is. Making. But I still hear a lot of complexity in the notes. It's still very sensitive to my picking. Or you can play a real mysterious sounding chord like that. and then dig in a little bit more with the right hand and it, it spits back at it. All right, back to where I was. very musical for a lot of that open string ringing kind of uh, more rock rhythm playing and then if you start pushing it up past 12 o'clock <laughs> getting real thick in the low mids, which is a little different from your typical, uh, maybe more heavy metal amplifier. So it's definitely... And it still retains a lot of the beautiful things that you want to hear from a more interesting open chord like Not just a typical... Which, it does that great too. Let's... Let's just dime the gain on this and so you can see where that goes. And still very quiet. I mean, that's that's the gain all the way up. That's wide open. So again, very thick in the low mids, uh, a, a bit more of a chocolatey sound um, than maybe a brown sound, not quite so Britishy, shall we say. Um, and then of course you have a boost available on this channel as well, with the same foot switch. So there's our gain backed off. dynamic dynamic sounding all right let me swatch out guitars here a little bit and then we'll get into all the eq features so you can hear it with single coils um so you can hear how it reacts with all that with the magic of the internet and editing skills voila All right, so we're back on the clean channel. And I 
know they're really marketing this more as a rock amplifier, but depending on the guitar that you play, I mean, that's a very, that's a very good blues rock kind of, kind of sound, which I think all Fugue Samps do exceptionally well. Again, clean channel boosted. Um, let's swap that, tell you what. That's clean channel boosted, boosted, and here's the dirty channel. You can hear it gets a little bit, a little rattier, a little snarly. Again, I just can't say enough good things about the gain on this one. Play these complex chords. And you can hear all of the interesting notes that would typically clash in a very unmusical way with a lot of gain. Um, and that's the dirty channel with the gain about halfway up, so there's a ton going on there. So while we're here, let's talk about the, uh, let's talk about the EQ a little bit. <laughs> the treble you can get a, a very nice warm rolled off kind of sound with still a ton of gain um, or very very snarly with it turned all the way up and, and with a tell <laughs> it definitely gets some teeth on it um, which I think is fantastic mid control let's uh, scoop it all the way out <laughs> Ten, eleven o'clock. Put a little bit more in there. And let's go ahead and dime it. So again, very musical, even with the mid-range crank, that doesn't, uh, that gets a nice aww kind of sound, I guess a, a little bit up in the nose, but again, it's a nice round mid-range, um, it doesn't get unusable. Alright, and then here the bass, Fuchs kind of ha owns it with the bass control. That's the bass all the way out. A little snarly. Coming back up. Almost all the way up. And then all the way. So plenty of good low end coming out of so all all bands uh, all three bands of the eq very usable um i i find it's very neutral probably starting somewhere around 12 o'clock and then you can push and pull from there um and then here's the presence control with eq pretty much almost flat there we'll start with the presence and you can hear what that does to the top end <laughs>
yeah, very nice to have that uh, very sparkly uh, top end that you can adjust there uh, to your liking. And it's, it seems very musical to me the whole way uh, up, up and down there, depending on what kind of rock that you're doing, a warmer or more maybe more metal kind of sounding. And then the thrust, again, here's all the way out. You can hear what that does to the bottom end, it really tightens up. Bringing it up. depending on how you need that to sit in the mix. Um, just a, a, a ton of control on tap there. Um, I guess the other thing there is that you've got two volume controls for both channels, so you can balance between the two to uh, get them at whatever volume you need to keep the amp set at. You can balance them out between the pre-gain and, and the post-gain. Uh, maybe push a little bit harder on the quote-unquote master section um, to get a little bit more output tube sounding stuff and then back off on your pre-gain. Um, or vice versa, you can push the pre-gain a little bit harder, kind of like what I'm doing. Um, and then run your, your master volumes a little bit more conservatively. So all in all, that is the Mantis Junior from Fuchs Audio Technology, a beast of an amplifier. Um, if you need more information, go to fuchsaudiotechnology.com for uh, any more information and uh, questions that you might have there. You can submit right to the, uh, the company through their website and check out all of their products. They've got a ton of great products there. Um, and thank you so much for checking out my video on the Mantis Jr. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, stick around and check out other videos that we've got. And uh, check out some more videos that are coming up soon. So thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Suck up.